This video goes over debloating Windows 10 and slimming it down by removing all the junk apps that get installed by Microsoft and this is all done with one script and at the end of this video you'll see it run through my computer, remove all the nuances and crap that gets installed on Windows 10 such as OneDrive and also it prevents Windows 10 from taking over and putting Microsoft Edge as your default browser. Coming up. Okay, we're gonna start by going ahead. I, I made an article about actually debloating it. Um, we're gonna start by opening up our PowerShell prompt by right-clicking. And this is actually a command prompt, but that's okay. We can just type PowerShell, and this will put us in PowerShell for us. From here, we need to set the execution policy. Set execution policy, and we want unrestricted. All right, with that done, we need to go to GitHub and download our script. So we'll just go ahead and click on this link. We want the actual debloater.ps1 script. The actual sysprep debloater PS1 is for systems that don't have a user set up. Since I've already been using this for a while, we're going to go ahead and with this one. And we'll just go download zip. All right, we'll open that up. And I'm going to put this on my desktop. So this done, we're going to just go back to my article here. And from here, we're going to go to our home directory. And since I put it on my desktop, Windows 10 debloater, DIR, and we want Windows 10 debloater ps1 and as we see here we want to debloat it so we're going to click yes would you like to remove everything that was pre-installed on this windows machine yes and this is going to go through and remove all the junk apps now this will leave some things like um your calculator and actual useful applications, but there's very few that it actually needs to leave behind. I believe it also leaves Xbox functionality. However, uh, many other applications do get uninstalled, so if you have uninstalled a whole bunch of stuff from the Microsoft Store, it will go through and uninstall those. As you see there, it kind of got hung up there. That was an actual Ubuntu um, subsystem that I actually installed on this. So I actually have to need to go back through and install that subsystem again if I wanted to use Ubuntu in my Windows box. And if you're interested in that, I actually made a video over it and I'll link that in the description below too. So I'm going to go ahead and let this finish. All right. Now that all our apps are uninstalled, we want to prevent Edge from taking over as the default PDF viewer. We want Adobe, of course. And if you use OneDrive, you're going to click no here. However, I don't know anybody that actually uses OneDrive. And if you do, you're probably about to lose your data that you have on there <laughs> because it's horrible with versioning. Use Dropbox like a normal human. All right. Now it says it needs to reboot the machine to restart. We don't want to do this because I'm currently recording. So it is finished. And that is it. My Windows 10 as clean as could be, no junk apps, all the uh, built-in apps that are bloating it down, and actually you, you'll see a performance uptick. I've noticed a good 20 to 30% increase in performance just by doing this. So just going into performance and, and coming here, I noticed a big difference just by doing this. If, you're, if you wanna test this, come into your performance, kind of get a good baseline, and then run this script and see what happens. And this is all maintained all through the GitHub script, and this guy that, that maintains it has done a fantastic job for the last couple of years. I've been using this ever since Windows 10 came out, or, or a little bit thereafter, and it has not failed me yet. So if you're watching this in 2019 or even 2020, chances are this script's going to be still good to go, and you'll be able to use it in the future.